Okay, so hello and welcome back to Wickham Wonder Kids. My name is Reese. This channel is FM Wonder Kids. We're playing some Football Manager. It's a live stream. We're going to be playing Southampton, followed by, I think it's uh, Burnley. So Southampton, followed by Burnley. We've been on holiday uh, for the first part of the first season, the second season, sorry, in the Premier League. Paul Robinson, our assistant, has been managing the fourth. He's done okay. We're sitting 11th in the Premier League. So today on the show we're going to, don't forget to smash the like button by the way, subscribe if you're new, but today on the show we're going to recap, see how Paul Robinson's got on in the Premier League, we'll nail down our starting 11 because we made quite a lot of signings in the January transfer window just gone, not January, in the actual transfer window just gone, so we're going to nail down that starting 11 because it looks like Paul Robinson's been playing people a little bit not where we wanted them to be playing basically, so we'll do that. We'll tweak our tactic and our set pieces, so stay tuned if you want to see a bit of that, and we'll obviously play Southampton and Burnley. So, thank you very much for watching, don't forget to smash the like button, liking the videos really helps the channel out, and obviously subscribe if you like what you see, because there's plenty more of it. Hope you're all doing well, get in the chat if you want to chat, obviously I don't mind chatting to you guys, we don't have a lot of viewers, so I always interact with every single one. Cheers. So, recapping. Let's have a look at the Premier League first, see how he's gotten on. 11th is pretty decent, to be honest with you. Minus 6 goal difference is a little bit worrying. But being 11th in the league is quite a good um, launching pad. It's December now. So we'll have a little look at some of the results which he's had in December. Okay, so when I was last with you was that 4-1 defeat at Leeds. So you can see afterwards, he drew with Watford 2 all, beat Wolves and beat Exeter. So we'll have a little look at this Wolves game, see what happened there. Francisco, the new sign-in playing up front, you can see there. He had a 7.3. Hannibal and Drahir play in the box-to-box -box midfielder roles. He is really good. Like, apart from finishing, he's not very good at finishing yet. And in behind them, Santos. So interesting then that they played Santos in this deep lion playmaker role, but there was no room for the other centre midfielder, which we bought. Can't remember what his name is now. Vuskovic and John Germain at centre backs, so that's fine. Ethan Lid at left back is a bit funny. So his team selection is a little bit off, if you ask me, but he beat Wolves 1 0 there, which is good. Beat Exeter 2 1 in the Carabao Cup. Everton lost, Tottenham lost, but beat Sheffield United 2 0. So we'll have a look at that. Again, Francisco up front. He's playing Sanez on the right wing, but he's our right back, really. Santos at right back. Christian Ricardo is someone who should be in the midfield instead of Drahir, to be honest with you. Because of that good mental ability. So that's fine. So like I said, that's what we'll do on the stream today is we'll nail down that start in 11 so that he plays it then when we're on holiday um, for the majority of the time. We're playing Southampton and Burnley today. A home match and an away match, so a good little spread there. Let's get on in to the team selection, or the squad rather. So this is what the squad looks like, and what I like to do, we'll go to team report actually, and we'll look at the squad depth. Okay, so this is the guy I like for up front, is Ilton, either up front or inside left, so Ilton's definitely going to be starting playing. Hallett would be on the right for me there, definitely. Hannibal and Ricardo in the middle and Santos potentially. Vuskovic and John Germain centre backs. Sanez right back. Hamachi though I want to play left back instead of Ethan Laird. Am I meant am I mad? Am I mad? Ethan Laird right footed, playing on the left. He's pretty decent, but I mean he's not gonna be overlapping and putting the crosses in like our boy Hamachi is. Let me know in the comments who do you think I should play at left back full team. Because I think Hamachi. Definitely, right? Okay, so that's Hamachi. So we'll go to my squad. This is the screen I like to use when I'm picking my squad. So what I like to do with the screen here is sort everybody by the assistant manager's reports. So you get the star rating, okay? So rather than potential, I usually first go for ability. I saw everyone by ability. That way I can pick like the best players that are in the club at the moment. 
into my starting 11. So that's what we're going to do. Thank you very much for watching. By the way, do smash a like on the video if you're watching live. Really does help the channel out. So Vuskovic is our best player. And thank God, because we bought him for a couple of million quid. 40 million quid, I think he cost us. And we made him captain straight away. So Vuskovic, first name on the team sheet. Let's deselect everybody else. Must be an easy way to do this. Deselect everybody, blah, blah, blah. Happy days. Okay, so Vuskovic, first name on the team sheet. Sanez then, for me, is a right back. Okay, I don't know why uh, Paul Robinson was playing him at right wing. For me, definitely right back. Look, can't finish to save his life. Decent attack tackling. Very fast. Reasonably fast. Decent. He's definitely a right back in the attack and right back. So he is the second name on the team sheet. See how this is working? Easy, right? Now, Francisco is a funny one. Let's have a look at his stats. Striker apparently is his best position, but I want to play him in the centre of midfield. What do you think? I think centre midfield. Passing. Tackling ain't too bad. Positioning is 11, which is good. Strength, stamina. First touch. Vision. For me, Francisco comes in at centre midfield alongside Hannibal. Is he right or left footed? Let me find out. He's right footed. So maybe put him on the right side. Put Hannibal on the left. Hannibal then on the... Oh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Nick Hallett, right midfield. Not a question about that. He is the wonder kid, or at least was described as the wonder kid last time we looked at him. Yeah, wonder kid. Nick Hallett is our boy. Left footed, plays on the right inside forward. There's no question about Nick Hallett at all. There's no question about his position in the team, so he's in. Hannibal, next. Centre midfield. On the left side, and I'll check his positions just to make sure, just to see if it does sit. There's no side preference there. So you see that there? No side preference. So we're happy with that. His left foot is weak, though. So we'll check Francisco, same thing. Positions. No side preference again, but his left foot is weak as well. So we got Francisco on the right and Hannibal on the left for now. One good thing to look out for actually is who's the best at the long shots because whoever's the best at the long shots, so Hannibal's 11, you want to play on the opposing side to what the preferred foot is. And uh, where's the other one? Francisco is... Okay, so, so 11 and 12, so it doesn't make much of a difference there. Ethan Lear then is our next best current ability player. So maybe he does have to play at that left back spot. Let's have a look. He's intelligent apparently. Right footed, wing back. He is fast. Maybe we give him an inverted role then on that left. An inverted full back. Maybe he does have to come in. Because where's Hamachi? I mean Hamachi's all the way down here. One and a half stars. Okay, so Ethan Laird has to play. Which is unfortunate. It's not unfortunate, but I thought Hamachi was better than he is. Let me know in the comments or the live chat if you want to change that because I'm happy to change it because that was my original plan. Okay, Acosta, the goalkeeper, who our chairman last episode really, really pulled one out of the bag to help us sign this goalkeeper. So Acosta, let's look at his stats. 24-year-old Argentinian. We signed him at 23. And as you know, the rules to Wickham Wonder Kids are we can only sign... 23 year olds and younger so he really did come in as a good goalkeeper 23 years old the chairman really helped us out with that one so Acosta's in first name on the team sheet in terms of goalkeepers now this is where it gets interesting Ilton I really like but you got four you got three stars here all the way down to Sousa who's a centre back Sousa Hugill Jermaine, Santos, and Ilton. Now, Hugel is an interesting one because we signed him as a Ricky J. Jones replacement. And if you're not sure what happened to Ricky J. Jones, go and watch the last episode because it was a bit of a drama. So, Hugel is kind of the one who came in to replace him. But look at that, he's injured. Two to five weeks. So, is it Hugel or is it... Ilton. So Ilton's right-footed. We'll look at his positions. He's amazing. Ilton's amazing. I can't believe he hasn't been playing more games. 
Okay, so he's right foot, he's a striker. He can play striker, like his attributes say he can definitely play striker well. He can also play inside left quite well. There's my missus in the chat. Hey, how are you? Um, so... Ilton, what are you saying, inside left or striker? Let's put Ilton on the back burner for now. Martin Santos, so he's a defensive midfielder who's getting that defensive midfielder role. Easy peasy, okay? You click on his positions. That is his position. He's a right back as well, but he's not fast enough for me. Oh, he's a wonder kid. Mm, happy days. So Santon gets in there. Kiri should be working, okay? He shouldn't be watching YouTube videos. Uh... Okay, so Ilton, John Germain, so bored, she says. How am I doing? I'm doing all right, yeah? I mean, just trying to pick my um, first 11, get it nailed down, so that when I go on holiday, my assistant is playing the exact team that I want him to play. How are you? So, um, back to what I was saying. Ilton, should we just play him up front? Okay, let's just play Ilton up front because I want to. For now, a John Germain can go centre back alongside Vuskovic. But what's to say Souza doesn't play in front of. So, what we'll do, we'll compare John Germain to Souza because they're both quite good. John Germain apparently has got a better potential than Souza. But I just want to get him side by side so I know who I'm picking and why. Okay, so Souza seems a little bit more well-rounded, but John Germain comes far in front in aerial and technical. Vision. Okay, he's not as fast, though. And he's not as good mentally. That's interesting. How old is Souza? Souza is... He's the age man. See you later, Kira. 6.2 foot. John Germain 6.3 foot. Sorry, I'm looking at age. What's the age? Okay, 22 and 24. So maybe, maybe John Germain gets the nod. No pun intended, you know? Nod. Headers. Souza. Okay, but Hugel. Maybe Hugel should get the... Okay, Ilton on the inside left and Hugel up front. How about that? Because that's why we signed him. He is the Ricky J. Jones replacement. He's come from Man United under 19s or under 18s, whatever you want to call it, with a bit of pedigree. So, he can, yeah, he's there. He's in there. That's it. Now, what positions have we got left? That's every single position on the pitch. Sorted, covered. But that means Christian Ricardo doesn't get a game. The 19 year old Brazilian with really good mentals. Where could he play? He could play instead of Santos, maybe. The 20-year-old Span. No, he can't play. Look how, look how good he is. Francisco. Maybe he could play instead of Francisco. And then you'd move Francisco up front. But these are the kind of decisions I don't trust my assistant manager to make, to be honest with you. Okay. So that's that. And then we'll put everyone else on the bench who's good, you know. So... Gomez... And Anderson, Gomez is going to be better than Anderson in the future. So he's our number one backup goalkeeper. And then we'll just go ability. Sub one, sub two, sub three, sub four, sub five, sub six. Sub seven, you have seven subs. Eight, seven subs. Okay, you don't care Anderson is the seventh sub. We'll leave the seventh sub, seventh sub blank. FPL Penguin, how's it going, buddy? Have you captained Kane this week? I'm sure you have. 200% effective ownership in FPL. Over 200%, so I've heard. Um, okay, so that's pretty much it, I think, for the first team. So if we look at the tactics now. So that's what it's showing. So Hugo up front is injured at the moment. But Ilton, Hallett, Hannibal, Francisco, Santos. I really like that. Okay, so... What we'll do, we'll have a little look at the tactics now. We'll change them a little bit just so that they're customised to us. Because what we're going to have to do, actually, is make Ethan Lid an inverted wing-back. And I don't want to, but he's right-footed. 
Yeah, I've Captain Kane this week. Well done, buddy. Well done. It's got to be done. I bought him in. I've been suffering not having him over the past couple of weeks. So obviously he blanked last week, but the week before I didn't have him either. Uh, so I bought him in. Him and Jorginho I bought in for Dominic Calvert-Lewin and... Mason Mount. Captain, give him the captain's armband, obviously. Happy days. So Ethan Laird as an inverted wing back works. Did you consider Son for Captain C, FPL Penguin? Did you consider him? I gave him a very brief consideration, but I didn't. His numbers just nowhere near as good as Kane, are they? I'm probably going to sell him next week, actually, Son. What do you think about Son? Defender left, okay. Inverted wing back, yes. Support, yes, okay. So that was just training him up then. So we're going to develop him to play that role. So that then means he's going to be like in this position here during play. So it really frees up one of the boys to go and attack. So maybe we'll put Francisco on the left here. We'll swap these two round. Hannibal can be box to box. Oh, he doesn't want to be those, does he? He wants to be advanced playmaker there. That's interesting. No, he has to be box to box, to be fair. Oh, but he's not very good at it, is he? you got to be Hannibal. you got to be box to box, mate. It's just got to happen. Let's develop you into a box to box. Yeah, he's already he's already learning. So Hannibal box to box, and then we put Francisco as like a more attacking centre midfielder, like that. That allows Laird to come into that position there. And I think that works. I think that's going to work and that means we're going to have to go more attacking to be honest with you so we'll go more attacking one two three four no it doesn't actually we'll stay we'll stay positive with that stay positive I'm happy with that actually I like that I like the sound of that so in possession I'm fairly narrow I'm happy with pass into space I'm happy with for the gig and press play out of defence Rel relatively happy with that passing directness standard that sounds like a bit of a cop out but why not? Excuse me. Shall we work the ball into the box? Maybe we should work the ball into the box. Maybe we go shorter and work the ball into the box. I like that. I like the sound of that. It just means we'll have more possession. And I think we've got technical players now who can do that. Distribute the centre-backs for the goalkeeper. Counter-press and counter-attack. Out of possession then. We'll play the offside trap. And we'll give that a go. In possession, we're playing fairly narrow, so maybe we should defend really narrow as well, okay? We'll give that a stab. Mixed crosses, I like to do whipped crosses, okay? Don't ask me why, it's just something I've always done in Football Manager. So, we'll save that tactic, and you can get a hold of this on Patreon. It's for the patrons. I mean, why would you want to do that, though? Because you've just seen me make it. I'll just call it... Wickham Gagan Press. Season six. Save. So I'm happy with that. John Germain is going to be our main um, target man then for the for the set pieces. Is he? I mean, where's his height on there? Does it say his height? Six foot three. Vuskovic is six foot two, I think. Where is it? Can't see it. Six foot two. Yeah, he's six foot two and his jumping reach is seventeen. Whereas John Germain is six foot two and his six foot three and his jumping reach is nineteen. Okay. So that is a weapon. So let's go into set pieces and have a look at those. So in terms of corners then. 
Francisco is a great corner taker, so he can take our left-sided corners in front of Hannibal. This is one of the reasons we brought him in, actually, because it's a set-piece prowess. The right side, then, Hamachi, left-footed. Divine, left-footed. Okay, it's probably going to be Hannibal and Francisco again from the right. So we'll have to um, sort that out. Okay, free kicks then, we'll have a look at. Free kick takers. Attacking free kicks. So we'll sort this then by free kick ability. Ricky offside goal. Oh, he can. I can't believe it. Ricky offside goal. Richie, Ricky. I call him Ricky. Kane, triple captain goal. Oh, you triple captain him, did you? Mad. Madness. Yeah, going well. Fair play. What's the score then, Akan, in that game? No, one all. Ricky offside goal. I can't believe. Guilfi. What a goal. Just scored, is it? 2 1. Rashalis an assist? Come on, give me some good news. <laughs> okay, so free kicks. Hamachi. Francisco. Okay, these are my left siders. And Hannibal. And then Hamachi can come in there. 2 1 to Everton. Nice one. Thanks for. Oh, Coleman assist. Rashalis and pre assist. <laughs> Thanks. Bloody hell. Why can't Rochelle's... Hopefully Rochelle's will just bang now. Because I'm fed up of it blanking for like five games in a row. Five game weeks in a row. But anyway, thanks for letting me know, Akon. Maybe Rochelle's will get some bonus points, eh? Let's have a look. Oh, no, I'm not looking. <laughs> okay, so I'm happy with that. And Hannibal can go next there. Okay, so... What we'll do then is we'll set up our corners quickly. Defending, I'm not too worried about. Attacking, though, on the left, I want to set up properly. Because this is where I want John Germain attacking the far post. Okay. I want Vuskovic attacking from deep. Actually, no, I want him marking the keeper. No, I want him... Oh, who is it? Lurking far post. No, that's where I want my striker. Gosh, get a grip. Attack near post, there we go. So that way, if I got my two centre-backs, one attacking near, one attacking far... Their two tall players are going to be far apart, so they're two best headers. Have I got anyone else from that game? No, I've got Kane, Son, and Richarlison, I think, is the only players I've got. What about you? Who have you got in that game? So, and then my striker then can lurk on the far post just to get those, like, sweep, just to sweep them in if anything goes astray. And I can get... Look outside area, mixed, stay back, go forward. Okay, so that's fine. And then from the right hand side, they're right footed, so they're going to be Kaneson, Baylor, and Dinya. Bale's on the bench, though, is he? I think Bale's on the bench, yeah? Do you think Bale will get. I think Bale will play the Southampton game, which. Is probably the best game, I think, for attacking-wise, for Spears. Okay, so we'll get... What do you think, Akon? Do you think Kane, Bale, Son will all play for the Southampton game? So the defendant right, who's that? Is that John Germain? Or is that John... Oh, so that's Vuskovic, so that's John Germain. Again, we'll set him up the same, look far post. And attack near post. This time we'll have a mixed delivery. 
whereas on the left we'll have a far post delivery every time. That way it kind of mixes it up, but also with the right-footed out swinger, it's not going to go out of play when he actually plays it. So how do I save all this? Routine, save. So I'll save that, and then we're good to go. Hopefully we'll get a John Jermaine goal in this next game now. All three will start, you think, against Southampton. I definitely think Bale will, because they've got that game a couple of days later. Mourinho's face, he's fuming, is he? <laughs> I'm quite glad they've wiped out that Tottenham clean sheet, though, because I know a lot of people have got Lloris and Regulon and stuff like that. We're playing Southampton now, for manager, actually. So that's the plan. Hopefully we'll get a uh, John Jermaine goal now from that uh, set piece instruction. I mean, it's, it doesn't work like that, does it, though? You set up your set pieces and then your defender scores straight away. Never, ever works like that. I wish I had another monitor so I could watch the Everton game like that. We could do watch-alongs, man. Imagine watch-alongs. It'd be sick, right? Regular one was the one that gave away the pen. Sick. Is that a minus two for that? I don't think so. Um, I don't think you get points minus for giving away penalties. Minus two. <laughs> Mourinho's face. So it's 2-1 now. Is Rosalison in the bonus points? Is he, in, he better be in his bonus points. 2-1. Sigerson will be in it, wouldn't he? Well, he'd be top. And then Kane. Kane, 36 bonus points. Sigerson, 57 bonus points. Charles are nowhere to be seen. Rodriguez, 25. You always get one. Francisco showing plea. Going, showing pleasing signs of progress. That's right. You don't know where to check BPS. Let me see if I can show you on my phone now. Kane's got two, yeah. Sigerson's got three bonus. So if you go on, this is my phone here. So that, you know that screen, don't you? Can you see that? that that's the screen, yeah? Let me just hold this. Let me see if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that screen. Then you go to fixtures and results on that screen so see that fixtures and results okay if you want to check the bps you click on the fixture so everton versus tottenham yeah so you've clicked on the fixture and right at the bottom of that all that information is the bonus points as it stands so next to each player's name it'll say the amount of um bonus points they've um accrued so Sigerson's on 57, so whoever comes out top three, basically, in those totals gets the bonus points of three, two, and one. Sometimes people tie. Does that make sense? Got it, thanks. Here to help. Happy to help, bro. Thanks for coming along and keeping me up to date with this game, man. Okay, pre-match press conference. The assistant manager can go to there. Paul Robinson, he's my boy. But yeah, don't check it too much because it's a pain. It's a massive pain. Once you know it's there, sometimes you're just checking it. Sometimes I check games where I haven't got any players in the, in the games. And I'm checking the BPS. Just so like I know what other people's points are going to be like. Stupid. So yeah, don't, don't do that. 2-2. Two, two. Kane, is it? Kane scored two. Oh, shit. That's mad. You've tri have you triple captained him? Sick. That is sick, mate. Fair play. Gone straight to the top of the bonus. Kane has there. 2-2. Two, two. Well done, mate. Triple captain. 
his ownership, his effective ownership is over 200%. Harry Kane. So unless you've triple captained him, you basically don't want him to score. It's mad. Yeah, so that's turned out to be the best triple captain of all the double game weeks so far. The most popular ones, anyway. Because Kevin De Bruyne, I did, got 24 points. Kane, in the second round of double game weeks, got 24 points. But now he's on for more than 24 already. 39. Yeah, that's right. So here we go. Southampton game coming up. We've got our first 11 sorted. Got our tactics tweaked a little bit. And we've got our set pieces organised just a little bit. We haven't gone over the top with them because obviously it's a stream. You don't want to see me just tinkering my set pieces for ages because it takes me about half an hour to do that. Kane hit the crossbar. Sugar. Recruitment meeting. I will not be attending a recruitment meeting. Thank you very much. I do all my recruitment myself. Divine's training report. No progress. Oof. Shit. Attend. Why have I got to attend that meeting? That's annoying. End. <laughs> Easy. Is it too much to ask for for a Richarlison goal in the Everton versus Tottenham game? I got Akon here in the live chat who's keeping us up to date with all the all the goals, all the uh, happenings in the game. All I want is for Richarlison to score for my FPL team. It's two all, and he hasn't done anything. Kane scored two, which is great. He's my captain, but he's his effective ownership in the game is two hundred percent, over two hundred percent. So unless you've triple captained him, your rank it's not going to do anything for your rank. Probably go down, Mister One on One. Jesus Christ! Excuse my blasphemy, but Richarlison, you're giving me. Well, at least he's getting chances. All he needs to do is get one more chance, and hopefully he'll bury it. He's missed so many big chances in the past three, four games. If he does score, am I keeping him? Well, yeah, I'm definitely keeping him for next week, unless I wildcard, because I've only got 10 players, I think, for next week. So he's not a priority to get rid of. Would you keep him? Hugel, obviously injured, swapping for Ilton. And then Ilton swapped for David. Easy peasy. <laughs> yeah, I'm keeping him for next week, Rochalison. Unless they're a wild card, obviously, because they've only got 10 players. Um, I like him as a player. I like Everton as a team, but he's just been... He just hasn't been finishing his chances, has he, to be fair? So I'm going to put that down to um, a bit of bad luck for me and a bit of poor performance for him. Okay, so who are we putting in for the last spot as a substitute? Drahe, Devine, Anderson, Maiten or Bradley? Now, Divine hasn't been progressing very well, so Maiton's going to get the nod. Two star. Oof, he's not crazy. Also, why Wickham? Sunderland would be better. Basically, because of the last name. So, last year in FM20, I did uh, the Wolverhampton Wonder Kids save, which I really, really enjoyed. I started it when my daughter was born. In hospital, I had the laptop. My daughter was born and I started it. It was a Wolverhampton Wanderers save. But then I turned it into a YouTube series and I called it Wolverhampton Wonder Kids. Obviously, let me check my text. So, um, called it Wolverhampton Wonder Kids. So now, every series that I'm doing has got to be based on a team that are called Wanderers. Does that make sense? So Wickham Wanderers becomes Wickham Wonder Kids. And it's been quite a challenging, and the next one will probably be Bolton, so that'll be Bolton Wonder Kids. Yeah, you get where I'm going? But it's been quite a challenging. Rochalison assist for the Kane goal. Are you kidding me? <laughs> um, 
So yeah, it's just the it's just because of the last name. But it's been really good. We have the lowest budget in the whole of the championship. We got promoted to the Premier League, which is class. Then obviously now we've got the lowest budget in the Premier League, so it's a really cool challenge. And we're enjoying every minute of it, Akan. But I'm not enjoying this Richarlison performance. He's doing my nut in. Doing my nut right in. Okay, here it is. Wickham, 10 minutes gone. Against Southampton. And we concede a corner, but we defend it quite well. We haven't set up our defensive corners, but generally they're pretty sound as they are, I've noticed, I think. David at the far post. Oh, David the patron. It's good save by the goalkeeper. RIP to the two guys who said they'll triple captain Son on my poll. Did they? I didn't see that. Did they comment to that, did they? Triple captain Son. Somebody said he's going to captain Aubameyang on there. Did you see that? And he's got malaria. <laughs> as I said, as, um, you do know he's got malaria, don't you? Oh, yeah, I'm triple captain Aubameyang. <laughs> Well, I've captain Kane, so at least I'm uh, a little bit protected. But um, oh, one of, my, one of my mates just texted me, Akan. He said he has um, just taken Sigurdsson out of his FPL team. <laughs> oh no! Just taken Sigurdsson. He just messaged me saying, "Oh yeah, it's fine. I just taken Sigurdsson out of my team, so you won't do anything this week." <laughs> And we all know what happens next. Siggy with two goals. Siggy and Kane. I got a text him. I got a reply with like a little face palm. Emoji. That's my favourite emoji, by the way. If any of you were wondering, it's the face palm. Nil nil against Southampton. 38 minutes gone. Forty-two minutes gone now, still nil-nil, which is fine. I mean, we don't have many chances, but the highlights have been all Wickham and Nick Hallett gets a goal, assisted by David the patron, absolutely smashing it. Come on, the Wanderers! Great goal there from Hallett. Great delivery, first time there from David. Can you see that? Let me move my head out the, down the corner here, so you guys can see. Nicola just on 45 minutes on the stroke of heart time. Happy, happy days, Nicky boy. I always get my assistant to do the team talks, by the way. Guys, do smash a like on the video if you're watching live. Liking the videos really helps us out. Do remember to smash that like button, please, if you are watching live. Or if you're watching not live, that'd be great as well. 47 minutes gone now. 1-0 to Wickham. Okay, good defensive work there from Wickham. They pick up the ball in their own half and they manage to work it into the final third. Hallett... With a great delivery into Francisco, pulls it back, and then Ilton gets his goal. Is that his first goal for the club? This is definitely his first start up front, I think. That was an exceptional counter-attack. These boys are showing what they can do. Francisco into Ilton. What a great finish. He's tall as well, isn't he? Ilton. This is what I mean. I think he's our new striker, to be honest with you. And then Hugo can maybe maybe be back up. Richarlison could have scored, but he dived instead. We've got Akan in the chat keeping us up to date with the Tottenham game. And I've got Richarlison in my FPL team, obviously. So, yeah, that shows how my season's going. Good tackle there from Lid. Vuskovic to Santos. Jermaine into Ilton. Great hold up play. Nick Hallett on the right, causing stairs. But goes over the bar. Akon, thanks for the like, dude. Don't forget to smash a like on the video, guys, if you're watching live. 
liking the videos really helps us out. It's 2-0 to Wickham here against Southampton. Our second season in the Premier League. The rules are we can only sign 23 players. We've managed to actually sign a few players this year rather than just loan them, which has been excellent. We're really making strides now in the Premier League. Mid-table. Akon, do I check live FPL? Surely Triple Captain Kane is a big green arrow. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Triple Captain and Kane will be a big green arrow for you. Well done. Definitely ch check it if you want. I mean, this is the first game. It's the first game. Just relax a little bit. But you it's going to be green. I'm sure. But his ownership, interestingly, is with Zach and Fenway. I sold him in season two. <laughs> yeah. He was, he was strong, man. He was strong, but he couldn't even get in the team in the first season, to be fair. Just not fast enough. Um, but yeah, ownership, Harry Kane. Oh, shit. Buendia just scored against us in the 80th minute. Let's see if we can make some substitutions. In FPL this week, Harry Kane's ownership is over 200%. Now, how does that work? Well, ownership, effective ownership, works through captaincy as well and triple captaincy. So if you add the captaincy onto the triple captaincy onto the ownership minus the bench ins of every FPL manager out there, you get the effective ownership. So basically, unless you've triple captained Harry Kane, his points are probably going to give you a red arrow. So if you even if you've captained Kane, your rank will probably go down if he scores. So only the people who've triple captained him basically will reap the rewards this week. So Acom, well done. Richie. On a what? Minus on what? Are you, has he scored? God, don't let me know what's happened. Has he scored? Richarlison? He messed it up. <laughs> uh, I just want to go from Richarlison. That's all I want from him. I knew I should have got rid of him. I wanted to do Richarlison to Cavani minus four. Anyway, this is football manager. Hannibal's 6.4. He's coming off. Ricardo, it's as simple as that. You don't get away with 6.4s. Is he getting subbed off for King? Are you serious? How many minutes? Are you kidding me? He's getting subbed off for King. Are you joking? I'm going to hit the roof. Tom Davis, thank God. You don't take Richardson off, do you? Oh, I'd be fuming if that was Ricky. <laughs> oh, good fun, though. Thanks for keeping me up to date on this. 92 minutes gone, 2-1. Time wasting. Shouts. Focus. We've done it. 2-1. Yes. Every victory counts in this league. So King has come on for Tom Davis. To be fair, you've got Rodriguez and Sigerson on the pitch as well, right? Two really creative players. Al just messaged saying the guy who sold Sigurdsson is Captain Manny this week he hasn't Captain Kane yikes Richarlison misses an open goal tap in and skies it are you are you actually trolling me Guys, if you just join us, thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. This is Wickham Wonder Kids. We can only sign under 23 players. Um, we're in season six at the moment. We're in the Premier League. And um, we've managed to actually sign players this season rather than taking them on loan. We've got a little bit of money this season rather than the first five seasons. We had absolutely nothing. But we managed to get into the Premier League. We're in mid-table. We've just beaten Southampton. We've got Akan in the chat live letting us know what hap what's happening in this Tottenham versus Everton game very kindly. I've got Richarlison in my FPL team. 
and he is not playing very well. But I've also got Kane captain, but as we've discussed already, Kane's ownership is over 200%, which means unless you've triple captained him, you don't need to know. So, there it is. Next up, Burnley. Grab yourself a beer. Make sure you smash the like on the video if you're watching live. Today we're drinking craft beer from Tesco. Little tins, quite nice. This one's called Camden Pale. Really good. The one I just had is called Brewdog Hazy Jane. I'm not affiliated in any way. I just like a beer. Hey, can. If you had to, so Akan in the chat is keeping us up to date with the Tottenham game. So Akan, question for you. If you had to rate Richarlison's performance now to someone who's not watching the game on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you give him? Do you want Son to do it? Of course you do, yeah. You still want your players to do well. It's just um, if you've captained them. Um, I don't know. How to, it's hard to explain. You still obviously want your players to score points, okay? There's no in, no in no scenario would you ever want your player not to score points. I don't think. It depends how you look at it, really. But... Especially in this scenario, because Son's ownership and effective ownership isn't over 100%. So, yeah, you want him to score, you want him to do well. If your player's ownership is over 100%, effective ownership, then you kind of don't. It's a weird one, yeah. I have to figure that. I have to sit down and talk to myself about that one, because I'm not sure. But you don't, just don't, just ignore it. Effective ownership, it just kills, just kills it. Kills all the excitement. 4.5 out of 10 for a Jarlison. I'm going to sell him right now. Sigerson and Kane, for you FPL players, both on 58 points on the bonus point system at the moment. Two goals each. Going to focus on... Thanks for joining us, Akan. See you in a bit. He's popping off to focus on the rest of the game. Bless him. Really appreciate him doing that for me, though. Put arm around. I've been very disappointed. End quick chat. I mean, I can't be doing with that. I just want to criticise him for not training well and then get out of there, to be honest with you. Easy as that. Guys, thanks for watching. It's the Wickham Wonder Kids live stream. It is our sixth season. It's our second in the Premier League. We can only sign promising under 23 players. And this season we've actually managed to sign players because the board has actually given us some money. The first five seasons we had absolutely no money. We were relying on loaning players for the majority of it. We managed to get somehow, probably quite luckily, into the Premier League. And now we're sitting mid-table having managed to sign a good handful of really good young players. A lot of them we've had to give release clauses to. But we're doing okay. We're doing okay, baby. I mean, we're really enjoying it. It was a long struggle for about five seasons, but we're doing it right now. Do smash a like on the video if you're watching live, by the way. Liking the videos really helps us out. Subscribe if you're new. Plenty of FM21 content on the channel now and coming soon. We live stream at least once a week with a Wicked Wonder Kid save. So always a reason to get yourself subscribed. But most importantly, do smash that like button. And you had one like so far. Get it done, people. This content is absolutely free, don't forget. All I ask for in return is a couple of cheeky likes. They look like that. Burnley next. Let's go. 
So the team for Burnley is going to be largely the same, I think. We go to the team selection screen now. I want to give the boys a run of games, especially if they're doing well and they're winning. There's no injury concerns. A little bit of a fitness concern with Santos. I'm going to have a little hover over that, see what that means. Fitness test not required. Remains some way short of full fitness and should be monitored accordingly. So it could be a case to say play Christian Ricardo there because we do like him as a player. Obviously, we do. His tackling isn't great, is it? So we'll keep it as it is. And we'll literally just go like that. Because we won at the end of the day, didn't we? We won the game against Southampton. So let's focus on winning the game against... I forgot who it is. Burnley. Burnley, that's who we're playing. Okie dokie, let's have a look at this now. The assistant manager takes all the team talks for us because that's how we do it. We delegate a lot of the season out. We go on holiday three or four times a season. But you know this, right? The teams are warming up. I'm going to check the score in this uh, Tottenham game because Akon's left us. He was keeping us up to date. 2 all. Kane, two goals. Sigerson, two goals. Joel, big yellow card. Laurie, six saves. Really, really want Richardson to score the winner. Send the assistant to this. And away we go. So we've tweaked the tactics a little bit and we've um, set up the set pieces. Just very basic kind of attacking corners almost. Only that really. But we think we're going to do some do some damage. This is where we lose 5-1 now. Okay. Kick off. At Turf Moor. Eight minutes gone. Richarlison dives under Kane's foot and almost breaks his ankle. Kane injured. Well, it doesn't surprise me. That's not the first time I've bought Kane and he's got injured. But we'll take it. If he scored two already, I mean, that's fine. Eighteen minutes gone. Nil-nil. Two yellow cards for Burnley already, the dirty buggers. Sitting 11th in the Premier League, which is pretty good. Happy with that. 27 minutes gone now. No highlights yet. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. 30 minutes gone. Do smash a like on the video if you're watching live. Guys, subscribe if you are new. Full time. And Richardson does absolutely nothing. Kane bangs two goals in. That is the Everton and Tottenham game. BPS. Looks like Kane and Sigerson both got three bonus points. And followed by Rodriguez and Dyer and Lloris. So looking at how this looks, three bonus points for Kane and Sigerson, one for Rodriguez, two for Rodriguez, and one for Dyer and Lloris. And we just concede a goal. Set piece free kick. Crikey. I'm happy with that. I'm going to have to score two now. Forty-five minutes gone. Just coming up to half time as another highlight. Come on, Wickham, where's he defending? Let's get defending. Come on now. Let's get this. Come on. Let's get the counter attack on the go. Come on. Win the ball. Good. Hallett. Nice. Sanez. Santos. Hallett. Let's get countered. Sant. Come on. That's not counter attack. 
That's giving the ball away. 46 minutes gone. We're going to concede another one before half time. Oh. Goal disallowed. Richardson did a lot of things. Missed one on ones, dived around, injured Kane. He did everything but score, basically, was it? Oh, David, over the top. What was that, son? Half time. That's fine. I mean, I wasn't expecting a haul from Richarlison, to be honest with you. I would have loved a goal. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it is what it is, isn't it? It is exactly what it is. Triple captain Harry Kane. But is he, how does the injury look? Does it look bad? Come on, let's counter-attack Wickham. Let's get that goal back. Come on, Hilton. Francisco! Played him in centre midfield. Him having chances is a positive, at least, says Akan in the chat. Yeah, yeah, it's a positive. I mean, yeah, yeah. Still fuming though. He's been having chances for five or six game weeks and he hasn't done anything. So it's just my luck this season. One all. 61 minutes gone. Let's see if we can make a tactic. You're on 42 points from one player. No, from one game. <laughs> yeah, that's good, mate. What am I on? Well, less than that, obviously, because... Um, so Hannibal's injured, so he can come off quite easy for Ricardo. It's not a problem. Ethan Laird's on a yellow card. Let's make a double sub. David can come off because... Let's be honest, not that good, is he? Actually, I've got no one decent to replace him because I've got a couple of injuries. So that stays as it is. Maybe Hamachi can come on for Laird, actually, in a couple of minutes' time. Sixty-seven minutes gone now. Still one all. 70 minutes gone. Still waiting for that next highlight. Okay, Hamachi can come on now. For Ethan Laird. Had to change his role as well, actually. From inverted full back. We'll go attacking as well. This all is starting to sound quite nice. I'm talking myself into us winning this game. Let's go attacking. Let's get Hamachi. Wing back at pack. Why isn't he already on inverted wing back? I must not have changed that. Let's confirm that changes. And let's go for gold. Seventy three minutes gone. I'm not gonna make that substitution that my assistant's recommended Francisco for Coyle, because Coyle is terrible. 78 minutes gone. The stats are in Wickham's favour. Eight shots, one XG and four on target. With eight shots, four on target for Burnley. But a 0 0.46 XG. 81 minutes gone. We're very attacking. We're not taking a draw for an answer. Eighty six minutes gone now. There's no highlights. What's going on? 88 minutes gone now. 89. Can we get a chance in the last minute? It doesn't look like it. Oh, there's a highlight. Wickham have the ball. Oh, Wickham give the ball away. Could this be a Burnley chance? Oh, I'm Burnley sky it. Reminds me of Richarlison. 91 minutes gone. 92 minutes gone. 
Oh, and there's another highlight. Could we counter from the corner? Oh, will they score? Oh, my gosh. It's an own goal off Machi. What is going on? Oh, crikey. Oh, an own goal in the last minute. That's a killer, isn't it? No, oh, never mind. We go again. Guys, that has been the stream for today. Thank you very much for watching. It's a shame Richarlison couldn't score in real life, and it's just a shame Ilton couldn't score in Football Manager. I'm going to go for a quick wee. I'll save the game. I'll make sure this inverted wing-back tack thing has gone on to um, Ethan Laid, and I'll go on holiday, and we'll come back next week. In fact, next week, I'm going on a little holiday with the missus, going to visit the parents. So there might not be a stream, but I might just do something on my phone, like a little live stream, walking and talking. We'll see what happens. But thanks for watching. See you.